This is question one from paper 2-2 from the summer exams from Cambridge International Education year 2020. Up the top right of the screen you'll find a link to a playlist for more questions from this same paper. And you can find a link to an image of this question in the description below. I recommend you try the question before looking at my solution. Usually the first question in an exam is quite easy and while this question is easy if you know how to do it, it's quite short to do, students had a bit of um, trouble with it because it's logarithmics and students are famously terrible at logarithmics. One advantage you have in this question, the, the question told you to use logarithmics, so that's really the real trick to use. So here was the question here, 2 to the power of y is equal 9 to the power of 3x. And they, told, they asked us to show that y is equal to some constant k multiplied by x. And they said to use logarithmics to do this. So that was a great advantage. And to find k, what is the value of k to three significant figures. So when we're, do, using, um, when we're dealing with questions involving indices like this, we used to, we used to do things like this where it was maybe um, 3 to the power of x is equal 9 to the power of 2. We could do these sort of questions without logarithmics because the bases were very similar. For example, here, 3 to the power of x, and this one is 3 squared squared. So we can make the bases the same, makes the question nice and easy. But when that's not possible, because 2 and 9, they can't really interact too easily, um, we can use logarithmics. Now, any logarithmic will work. So I'll, I'll actually do the question two or three times because it's very short and easy to do. So um, one thing to think in these sort of questions is we want to get rid of the, the base. And how we get rid of the base of a question, let me write this again, 2 to the power of y is equal 9 to the power of 3x. To get rid of this 2 here, to destroy it, we could just take log to the base 2. And that will destroy the 2. But that's not very fair or balanced. So we need to do that to both sides of the equation. Log to the base 2. On this side, that destroys that. And we're left with y equals, which is what we want. y is equal to log to the base 2, 9 to the power of 3x. Now here's where one of the great advantages of using logs come in. One of the rules about logs is anything inside the log, so in this case, this is inside the log, that has a power, that power can just be moved to the front like this. So that, we're pretty much done in this question. This is pretty much, let me rewrite it a little bit just to make it more clear. I'm just gonna move the x out on its own somewhere. So 3 multiplied by log to the base 2, 9, put a bracket around to make it clear, x out here. And that's what they wanted. They want y is equal to something times x. y is equal to something times x. This something can just be put into a calculator um, and we'll find out what it is. That's, that's our answer then. That would be k. Let me have a look here. It's 9.51. That's when we round it off to three significant figures. 9.51 times x. That's our answer. That's uh, k is equal to this. Now I said I'd do the question a couple of different ways uh, because that, that'd be one way to do it. It's not actually the way I did it. You could have used log to the base 9. So let's take log to the base 9 of both sides. We get log to the base 9 of 2 to the power of y is equal 3x. Remember log to the base 9 just destroys that 9. Uh, the y comes out front. Y is so we'll get, let me write a bit slower, log uh, y log 9, 2 is equal to 3x, y is equal to 3 divided by log uh, to the base 9, uh, log to the base 9 of 2, and uh, where's x? x? We left, here's 3, x is just beside the 3, or I'll put it out here. And that's the same format, y is equal to something times x. And again, if you put that into a calculator, you'll get y is equal to 9 point I want the same answer. Looks different, but it is the same answer. And uh, the way I, I actually did this question, I'd say this is the best way, the first one here. But uh, the way I did it, I just took any log I wanted. And because calculators often only have, well, actually most of them have any log you want, log to the base two, log to the base nine. But a lot of calculators only have uh, log to the base 10, log to the base two, and log to the base e which we write like this, the natural log. So that's the one I actually used. I got, took the natural log of both sides is equal to the natural log of 9 uh, to the power of 3x. 
And I just used the trick that this powers both came out front. So y times natural log of 2 is equal 3x times natural log of 9. I rearranged it, so I got y is equal to 3 times natural log of 9. 3 natural log of 9 divided by this natural log of 2. And the x I'll write over here. And again, this is uh, still a perfectly good answer. It's y is equal to something times x. Just like they asked, y is equal to k times x. And this k uh, in here is still equal to 9.51x. And you can use infinite other logs you want. Log to the base of 73. I don't know why you'd use that, but it's perfectly allowed and it will do this question perfectly well. Okay, if you have any follow-up questions on this, anything you're not clear on, ask me in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.